Hello and welcome back guys. It's been a little while, I think a little over a week. Still don't really play this game that much. I don't play ranked at all. If I'm playing, I'm probably just going to be playing casuals. So I just played a couple games, recorded them, wanted to share with you guys. So hopefully you enjoy. First game against Cassie K, just see how I do. That knee cap move is going to be a problem because they're low profile my onion range. Okay, he got me. I'm going to break late here just because I didn't want to, you know, deal with the... She has a move where she goes in the air and she does like a, you know, flying kick thing and it, it crushing blows if you try to break too early. Caught him with the 4-3 there. Going to spend two bars here to force him to break. And I'm going to finish into the onion ring too. He does not break. Okay, that, that's like the safest, you know, um, combo to go with in the corner if you're, if you're thinking that your opponent's going to break as Sonya. He didn't break though, so... Got to close this out. Uh, I'm backing myself into a corner here. This is not, ah. Uh, see, I'm not able to react to that move. I red grab there, too. Ah, uh, he grabbed there instead. Yeah, it's a 50-50 because he's got that mid into overhead, you know. After plus frame, that's like a really good thing Cassie can do from that position. I uh, probably should not have held down R1 there, but I, I guess I just held it too long. A little bit desperate, guys. Lost my crushing blow, but at least we took the round. Nice anti-air. He's not able to convert. That forward three is killing me right now. <laughs> At least it killed me right there. Nice. Nice whiff punish. He doesn't have any meter to break, so I'm going to do full damage. I didn't spend the bar there because I wanted to switch sides. Bad whiff on my end. Terrible whiff. Okay, yep. I thought I would catch him there. Guess not. Okay, I thought he was going to try to press a button. Yeah, he tried to forward dash there. Not going to let him. Okay. Ah! <laughs> That's it. GG! <laughs> that was kind of tough. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to use distance here. Even though she's got the new tap and move, I don't want to go in there too desperate, you know? Oh man, that, that caught me. New cap and trying to dodge all these bullets. Yeah, see, that's, that's the problem with that move. Can't give her too much space, but I also can't like go too close to her because she's got really good buttons, you know? Like in the mid-range, she's just better. I feel like Cassie is a better version of Sonya, honestly. You know? Like she's just got a lot of things working for her. You know, she's got the low, she's got the mid into the overhead, like it's... She's a pretty good character, I gotta say. Yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> Yikes. I might learn Cassie next, honestly. I know the game is pretty much dead now, but not dead, but I guess I'm no longer supporting it. But I think if I was going to learn another character, it would be Cassie, because she just seems like a lot of fun. If you want to play pressure, it could be fun, you know? Good staggers, good buttons. I mean, look at this. I'm getting absolutely obliterated here. Okay. Yeah, I'm going for the low a lot more because I know he's blocking over. He just woke up and pressed the button. That's crazy. Yeah, he's not blocking low at all. Yep. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that's this this fatal blow. That combo, that one three four into fatal blow does like almost five hundred damage, and he got two shields too. It would have done. It would have done fifty percent. So he was dead for sure. He or she. Yeah, he's not blocking low whatsoever. He's like so worried about that overhead. Yeah, he's he's just not. He's not interested in blocking low. Nice grab. Okay. It's not even a low. Why am I? Why did I stop blocking? Him? That's a mid. Yeah, I was expecting the grab. Instead, he goes for the stagger, the hit stagger into a grab. Pretty good. Okay. I think we can actually take so He breaks. Mistimed it, guys. I mistimed that. And that, that's it. GG. GG. Good games. Come up against a Kung Lao here. Yeah, I'm gonna... Wow, he just jumped right into that one. Yeah, Cassie, guys. She's really good. You know, and she does have like a pseudo 50-50, so I might try her out at some point. If I even want to play this game still. I've already taken off half his life, I haven't even done a combo yet. Okay, yeah. 
Not blocking overhead. Not watching his dome piece. Okay, nice interrupt. That's a massive gap, as you guys can see. Yeah, does not interrupt it properly. Doesn't interrupt it properly again. That's just not, not a good idea. He just spun in my face. That's brave, even for a Kung Lao. Okay, yep, full combo, he's gonna break. He blocks low. Ah! See, I tried to press something there. <laughs> Guarantee you, either I tried to press something or I tried to backdash too late. I am minus two, so if they have a button that, you know, gets me at right after that forward two, one, four, then, you know, if they're gonna hit me unless I'm blocking. So the only thing I can do there and be 100% safe is block after that string. Wow, he just spun and he dropped the combo though. He probably wasn't expecting it to hit, but I mean, if you're gonna spin, you might as well expect it to hit, right? I'm plus like a billion, plus 30 there. He just woke up and, you know, freaking, oh yeah, I just went YOLO there. He just woke up and then just dive kick. Woke up, jump, dive kick. The classic loud, you know? For the Wushi. That's literally how I picture him, you know, what I picture him saying every time he die kicks. For the Wushi. Bro, you're in the corner. I just gotta, I just gotta, oh, nope. Just gotta get him in the corner. Yeah. I don't even want him to, like, be on the ground. I'm plus, like, nine there. He probably tried to press buttons right after poking me. That's it. I just need one hit. Yeah. See? See how I, like, followed up there even though it, like, you know, he blocked most of it? I was just an autopilot. There's gaps there, guys. There's gaps. I was an autopilot the whole way with those cancels, but there's serious gaps everywhere. You know? It's like, I think there's, like, at least minus eight or minus nine. But it is threatening, though, because if I let go of it, then the second hit hits you. Um, it's not a crushing blow anymore at that point because I already got the crushing blow, but it's still a disadvantage, right? I'm going to be plus and you're going to be on knockdown. It's a little bit of a mind game, but also very gimmicky. Kind of feeling each other out here. Was not expecting that to hit at all. Four, two, one, four. Okay. That's also a gimmick, guys. The, the, the second and the third hit of that move, are they're both flawless blockable. Yeah, and he was going to try to roll there. Pretty obvious. I was expecting him to jump there after the roll didn't work. So that's the thing when you try to Oki in this game, you just have to make reads and then just stuff whatever read you're making on your opponent knockdown. When your opponent is knocked down. You know, on wake up, I guess I should say. Doesn't block low. <laughs> oh, this is bad. I'm plus. And I stayed I stayed back too, because I was I was expecting him to try to do some kind of jump, you know? Try to jump out. Ah, oh, that's it. He's not watching his toes. GG's. Katana. What's up? Okay. He's watching his dome piece. You know what I mean? Watching his toes too. Jesus. Okay, yeah. I broke there. Risky to break against Katana though. Because that, you know, flying hip attack is ridiculous. Crushing blow. That, that move hurts so bad. I really need to stop doing onion rings from that range. You know, like maybe if, I, if I'm seeing my opponent staggering and then trying to backdash on me, then I could do it. But I have to make the read. I can't just randomly from that range in neutral just toss out an onion ring. That's something that I've noticed like watching these videos back. Like I need to stop doing that. Ah, that forward forward is just too far. And he, he was able to walk out of the way and punish me. Ah, this is looking dire. This is looking very dire, Mike. Very dire. Yeah, I don't think you're going to finish me that quickly. <laughs> duck, just duck. What am I doing? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> ah, see right there I got to do like down back two, but you got to react. My reactions are not that good. And I didn't make the read either. I wasn't expecting him to do that. You know? And sometimes it just doesn't come out fast enough, especially when you're holding block. Oh no, yeah, I tried to press a button. That's it. Didn't even break. That combo is pretty safe as well. Only thing is it does less damage. You know what I mean? And you're further away from him. Again, I should have done it there, wow. 
That move is weird though, for anti-air. Like sometimes it's like out of range, like barely out of range and you come down and you're minus 40. And then they just give you like a full punch. Like literally people would like neutral jump punish me after I like miss that. It's ridiculous. Oh yeah, clean punish. Clean punish. He doesn't block low, doesn't watch his toes, and that's it. That's gotta be it. Like what is he gonna do? Yeah, tries to interrupt it, doesn't interrupt it with the proper gap. You gotta lab that. Oh, I tried to like walk all the way back and then whiff punish, but I guess that last overhead had serious range. Nice grab. What? <laughs> a poke into an up stand? Strange, but I guess it's what he likes to do. Oh, I tried to anti air there. See, that's one thing with this game, bro. Anti airing is a pain. I should just jump. I should jump more often from this position. He doesn't watch his dome piece and I have no meter. That's crazy. <laughs> then he doesn't watch his toes. After I caught him with it once, I just went for the low after that. I was like, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to make him punish the gap. I'm not going to just give him a free punish on the overhead, on the overhead stream, you know? Tried to anti her again there. Just nothing came out. Nothing. I think I was still inputting the down back tube um, input. Again, tried to, you know, press, like, stand one. Doesn't work. Katana specifically is just so scary to anti her again. This way you're going to see her jumping a lot. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. This is like jail. Yeah, I tried to jump there. It didn't even let me. Yikes. Nice combos, though. This guy's got a clean Katana. A lot of jumping, but I mean, if you're a good katana player, you gotta take advantage of that fan flutter, you know? It's one of the, it's her best move. If you're playing katana, you're gonna have fan flutter, you don't know how to use it. You're missing a big part of her game. Okay. Okay, yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Okay, interrupts it there properly. Yeah, down poke is gonna interrupt that a lot faster. Because down pokes are usually, you know, faster. But keep in mind, I could do back two into onion ring, and there's no gap there, guys. It jails. It's a mid into a high that jails. I labbed it. And it's not like super unsafe either. Like your opponent has to know that it's coming. You know what I mean? To punish it with like a down four. If, they, if their down four is like, you know, far enough. And that's it, guys. Nothing I could have done there. If I broke, I would have died. If I, you know, didn't break, I'm still dead. So that combo is like basically break proof. I've seen people do that over and over. GG. At least I, spent, I wasted my bar there. Can't really consider it wasting meter in this game though, because look at how fast it comes back, guys. Like, it's been like three seconds, and it's already almost back. You know, so by the time I get him to the corner, I'm going to have both bars. Damn, I'm getting, I'm getting obliterated. I tried to jump out. Let me out. Let me out. <laughs> Alright, I'm out. Jesus. Yeah, see, I already got two bars again. Yeah, I got to stop. I got to stop. Really don't need bar in the corner, honestly. Like the the, the low into overhead mix up is still the low or overhead mix up is still very strong. Whether it's whether you have meter or you don't have meter, like you can just keep cycling back into you know back one four or back one two like over and over and just punish them. The only thing is you know back back one four into onion ring is plus twelve on hit. And then back one two into onion ring is like plus eight or something. So you can't cycle back into back one after the back one two onion ring. So just keep that in mind. Still getting destroyed by this. See a lot of she, her air game is just unbelievable. You know, she reminds me of like Scorpion and MKX, where like if you jump, he would just jump through you, and there's nothing you can do. He was just so dominant in the air. Yeah, fall as blocked there, but didn't intend to. I'm just gonna keep him on the ground. Mix, 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 mix. I'm tired of it. <laughs> GG. <laughs> just keep cycling, guys. Oh wow, flawless block. Not a punish, but that's why I didn't finish because I didn't see the punish um, sign. Okay. Yeah, trying to trying to do some shenanigans right now. Nope. Nope. Okay, okay, all right. 
Mm-hmm. Forward, forward, two, one, four. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm, I'm not dealing with this. Get out of here. <laughs> I don't want to deal with it. Every time this katana comes close, he's just gonna use her best tools. You know, jumping, fan flutter, stagger, mid staggers. You know, like her, her stand one has ridiculous range, and it's pretty fast for the range it has too. Nice grab. Yeah, please stop. <laughs> please. I'm minus three in that case. Yeah, get off me. Thank you. I'm minus three after that back too. But you see the pushback on it? So I could have easily blocked or walked back. But instead I tried to press something. So, you know. Because sometimes your opponent will be caught off guard by a string. And you want to take advantage. Nice question below. Yeah, I was trying to like... I don't know. I just stopped blocking. Don't know what to say. I, actually, I tried to press a button. That's what happened. Because you saw the counter. Is he gonna jump? Oh my god. Wow. Wow. This guy, he is like specializing in locking me down in the corner. I'm putting you in the corner, pal. What's going on? Yeah, he tries to wake up. He tries to wake up duck or wake up press buttons. Into the mix. Yeah. <laughs> Back into the overhead, pal. YOLO. Why not? That's it. GG. Tries to wake up Duck again. Gotta love Sonya's mix. I tried to... I don't even know what I tried to do there. Down one? What the hell was that? Okay, nice, nice break. Yeah, I'm just gonna try to jump there. Nope. I love how that goes over lows. Like, even Scorpion's, like, back three, I believe, is low. Like, not Scorpion. Sub-Zero's back three goes over that. That forward three does. And now he has me where he wants me in the corner. And this is where it's like a pain, yeah. I finally uppercut to stop the shenanigans. Nope. Yeah, I'm not going to go into the one, three, four guys. Because if he jumps and I go into the full string, he's going to be able to land and punish me. That's why you see me going for the one, three into onion ring instead of like one, three, four into onion ring. When you like, see like right there. Like if I did four, he would have punished me. He would have woken up. Like, literally had enough time to land and then get up and punish me for pressing the string. Even why, even though I hit him with the, the stand one to begin with. Ah, this is bad. Okay, okay. Flashbacks of that Cassie Cage match where I almost lost. Oh my god, yeah, this time I, I just, I don't even know. Why did I stop blocking? No reason to stop blocking there. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I'm not gonna break though. Wow! 45%? That's crazy. This katana is definitely putting some work. Is this a flawless? It's looking like a flawless, guys. Jesus. Wow. That was a clean combo though. That was clean. I probably should have broken, but I was scared of the crushing blow. And by the time I, you know, decided maybe I should break now, I was already like almost 40%. So I was like, oh, I'll just take it. He's in the corner now. You know what's going to happen. Yep. <laughs> he likes to stagger a lot. Yep. Ah, I was expecting him to try to press something. So that that back back one two alone, if you don't cancel into onion ring, ah, he caught me there. If you don't cancel into onion ring, it's only plus four on hit. So you have to go into the forward four because that's the only thing that's fast enough to jail. And that's it. Caught him with the forward four. It's over. That was risky though, guys, because that move, that forward 2 1 4 that I did is minus 2. So technically, that forward 4 that I did there at the end was a plus 12, was like a 12 frame button. Um, so yeah, that was risky, but I, I made the read. Switches to rain here and starts with the rain shenanigans. You guys know the drill. You guys have seen rain. Not the most overwhelming character. Like, I don't think this guy knows how to. Um, I forget how, like, the, the basically the, the running, the, the version of running in this game, I forget what they call it. Um, I'll remember in a second, but yeah, he's getting, yeah, oh my god, Jesus. Just wrapping up. Yeah, wave dashing, that's what it is. Fight. Yeah, he doesn't, he's not really wave dashing back and forth, and that's Rain's strongest, like, oh, I missed the cancel. That's Rain's strongest, like, attribute, I would say, is his movement, him and Fujin. Yeah, this is not looking good. I'm gonna go for the overhead again. Yeah, he tried to uppercut me. Nope. Yep. See that jail, guys? You notice that? He tried to press a button and I caught him. 
With that being said, guys, thanks for watching. See you later. No prisoners. Sonya Blade wins.